guys, it's E here from Virginia Grace Living. So today's video, I'm gonna take you through how I ferment my peppers and how I go through the basically entire process of um, making shelf stable hot sauce. All right, so I have two different types of hot sauce here on the table. Um, this one is a fermented um, hot sauce. It's a little bit thicker. Also, and then I have here just kind of a uh, <clears throat> just a regular uh, cooked hot sauce, a, you know, hot processed. Both of these are processed while they're hot um, and everything. But anyhow, so even if you don't plan on fermenting your peppers to do your hot sauce, if you stay tuned towards the end of the video, this video should still be helpful for you to learn how to. Um, make like a shelf stable product all right so this is how I would begin a ferment I'm gonna do some sugar rush peach uh, I have a decent amount of just sugar rush peach here I'm gonna get these wash them up and I'm gonna go ahead and take the seeds out of these you don't have to but at the very minimum you're gonna want to at least cut them open and check to make sure that all your seeds are uh, you know not discolored or beginning to mold or anything like that because you don't want mold in your ferment so we're going to get these washed up, cut up, and put in a bag, and then I'll take you from there. Alright, so we have our Sugar Rush Peach Peppers all bagged up here in a, in a uh, vacuum seal bag. You see I have a lot of head space there that I'm allowing for. We're going to go ahead and get a weight on all this. The weight of the bag is somewhat ne negligible, so we're going to do this in grams. And then we're going to take a percentage uh, and add some salt to that. So let's see, zeroed on the scale. And it is 347 grams. So we're going to do some quick calculations to get, uh, I'm going to go for 4% uh, on the salt. So we're going to do 4% of that and add that in and then we'll seal it back up. Zero it out real quick. All right, so 4% of 347 grams is 13.88. So we're just going to round up to right at uh, 14. Just incrementally add this in as, whoop, went too far already. Ah, close, yep, there we go, 14. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and add that in here. All right, so when you're doing these, you can add anywhere from around like three to five percent. So I just dump that in there and kind of shake it up a little bit. And then we're gonna head over and vacuum seal it. there it is vacuum sealed so now we're gonna go ahead and label it so we don't forget how long and you know what peppers we have fermenting because if you have multiple things going it's good to at least you know make some notes and keep track All right, so I like to put the date so today is August 15th and the percentage of the brine which was 4% and then what peppers I used, which was Sugar Rush Peach. And so I didn't do any other um, garlic or onions or anything in this one. I just want to kind of see just the Sugar Rush Peach pepper, what the flavor will be like. Now, if you do add in, um, if you do add in any other ingredients, you're going by total weight of all your ingredients to get your calculation. So that's what we're doing here. So there it is, and we're going to leave this probably for about a month as well. But anyhow, if you stay to the next part of the video, I'm going to show you how I will process a patch that I already have had going for a month. Alright, so I have a couple different ferments here that are in different processes. So this one's about a month old. You can see I put the label on here with a 5% salt brine. 
just a blend of some red peppers and whatever other peppers I had ready at the time. And this one is a blend of habanero, scorpion, and sugar rush peach peppers uh, with a 3.5% brine and is not quite as old. So I'm going to leave this one a little bit longer, but you can see how it starts to fill up with air. This one at one point ballooned up pretty well. I went ahead and relieved the air, re-vacuum sealed it. Uh, so that's what you're going to want to do once you have a lot of air. But it, it, it slowly builds up. Um, so you have time to monitor it. It won't explode on you as long as you give it enough. Uh, see how I gave it plenty of extra room here and monitor it every day. So make sure you check that every day uh, so it doesn't explode on you. We're going to go ahead and take this bag ferment here. Today is the 15th of August and I started this on the 17th of July. So it's close to a month. We're just going to go ahead and cut it open and uh, get it blended up. Smells real quick. It's got a nice fermenty smell to it. At this point, it's really just a pepper paste. So we're going to have to add some liquid in here because all I did was there was no water brine like in a submerged, you know, type of ferment. This is just salt, peppers, onions, and garlic. So I'm going to start with about a cup of vinegar and a cup of water and then see from there taste and pH balance and everything. Uh, and then we'll go from there and adjust if necessary. So as it stands before cooking it or anything, with just the ferment and a cup of water and a cup of vinegar, we're right at 3.5 pH, which is good for a hot sauce that is shelf stable. But we're gonna go ahead and pasteurize it in here to make sure that the fermentation process will stop. And also it'll help with being bottled and uh, being into sterile hot bottles. So we're gonna go ahead and get this Pour it into the pot and we're going to let that cook or simmer for about 20 to 30 minutes and uh, then we'll get it bottled up. Alright, so I'm going to get these bottles out of this hot water, turn off my hot sauce simmer. So we want to bottle these while everything's hot. That's going to contribute to that longer shelf stability, right? So a good uh, shelf stable hot sauce should last, you know, anywhere from 18 to 24 months as long as you do everything correctly, your pH is right, and you have sterilized your bottles and um, killed all the stuff, you know, pasteurized your sauce. So after um, looking at the sauce, I said I was going to strain it, but I changed my mind. I like the way it looks as it is now. I actually ran the immersion blender through it real quick just to kind of smooth it out a little bit, um, which is also optional, but uh, it's your hot sauce. So you decide whether or not you want to uh, strain it and have a thinner sauce or you want to have a little bit thicker sauce. I strained my last batch, but this batch I think I'm going to go ahead and actually keep it a little bit thicker so let me show you guys how it turned out real quick and then we'll get to bottling it up all right so get my spoon real quick still kind of bubbling because i had it simmering on low but isn't that just a beautiful like thicker a little bit thicker sauce right there so we're going to get that bottled up into our bottles and then once we put the lids and caps on we're going to flip them upside down and put them back in the box for a little bit and that's going to help seal it uh, and then we will shrink wrap the uh, seals on it and print some labels. So from here, like I said, we're going to go ahead and while this is hot, I have a little reducer cap. I'm just going to go ahead and put that on there. I might end up taking these off later, but we'll put that lid on it. And then we're going to take it over here ah, and flip it and put it inside the box like that we're gonna do that to all of them so that they can seal so that was a small batch but you know you can make them as as many as you want 
I was just going with some uh, hot peppers that I had that I wanted to blend together. This one had some, let's see, red habanero, orange habanero, scorpion pepper, red jalapeno, red cayenne. It was just a blend of uh, hot peppers that I had available at the time. But it turned out really pretty uh, and nice. So let's go ahead and get these uh, shrink wrap seals on. So you're just going to grab them. I'll put a link in the description to these hot sauce bottles, my pH tester and all that good stuff. So get your shrink wrap label or shrink wrap caps and just go ahead and put them on. If your water is still hot, you can just dip it in there. If not, you're going to want to reheat it. I think ours is still hot enough. So we're going to go ahead and put that in there. Let's see. All right. So ours is, I got mine heating back up. It doesn't have to be quite boiling, but you're going to take your lid here. So right now it's loose, right? And that hot water and to um, get it to shrink wrap, you're going to kind of hold it there, turn it, make sure you submerge that whole thing. There you go. And there you go. You're going to shrink wrap that on just like that. So we're going to get all the rest of these shrink wrap. Just adds a little bit more professional flair to the, uh, to the hot sauce. Make great gifts for your family. Or if you want to sell some, you know. And then there you go. You end up with some nice professional looking bottles. I actually have some labels I'm going to print out. And I'll, sh I'll show you towards the end of the video what they look like with the labels on them. So... That's pretty much all there is to it, guys, of making your own hot sauce. This was a fermented blend, but uh, you can you can make them unfermented. But make sure, if you want to make it shelf-stable, you still want to go ahead and sterilize your bottles and test for pH. Alright guys, well that's pretty much all I have for today's video. I um, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did enjoy it, go ahead and leave a comment below, uh, leave a thumbs up, and hit subscribe on the channel, and share it with your friends. If you feel like you know you have somebody that may be interested in this type of content, go ahead and uh, share it on your Facebook, Instagram, all that good stuff. Uh, while we're at it, if you would like to follow us on Facebook or Instagram, there's links in the description. Also, don't forget... There are links in the description so you can get the hot sauce bottles and a few other things. And uh, if there's also the Amazon store. So we have an Amazon store. You can go check out that link and uh, see, see what you uh, might enjoy there. So uh, I really appreciate you guys uh, watching the video. Uh, God bless.